Okay, scrappers, well, here we go, and uh, we're going to complete the uh, 1,000 ram stick challenge, even though it's only 500 ram stick. All right, well, we should be ready to go. Um, I've changed it around a little bit just to uh, put the, uh, the crucible on a bit of an angle. Uh, so, just so you can get a better view and um, don't have to tip the the can over so much so we'll just see how it ends up hopefully it's hot enough and we've got the borax just melting a little bit Getting a bit frothy. And uh, I'm not sure if one can is going to be enough, so I'm going to have to quickly um, swap over another can if, if it's not. Might be a bit too much borax. Alright, well, I'll just keep at it. I'm still on the same can. Um, it's been a, probably a four or five minutes. It's, um, it's slowly getting there. But, like, the crucible is starting to get red and really heat up. So maybe that will, um, that will help. But, uh, yeah, I'm just not sure that this uh, butane torch is going to be hot enough. But uh, we'll just keep going. And I mean, it's certainly getting red. So maybe I'm just a, a little impatient. Okay, well, I've probably been uh, using the gas torch now for uh, probably eight or ten minutes nearly. Um, because I've been moving it around and around, it doesn't seem, every time, you know, as I'm moving it, it's sort of like heating one area and cooling down the other. So, or the last uh, thing I'm gonna try here with this gas is just gonna leave it in one spot like this and see if it, uh, if it can at least start the melting process and then that will help to, um, to, um, you know, keep the, the temperature a little bit hotter in there so um, I'm just going to leave it like this and use up this can and if not I'm going to have to go with the map gas because I don't think this uh, butane gas is just going to get hot enough for what we want to do so but we'll just give it a go it looks like it's sort of starting to really heat up in one area I can see the green flame now um, whereas that that's the uh, copper so I wasn't getting that before but uh we'll just uh keep it going for a little while now yeah it definitely doesn't look like it's going to be melting i don't think you know i think it's just a little bit under i've added more borax to try and reduce the uh, melting point but 
it just you know it just seems to be holding back that little bit um, so what I'm probably going to do is just I'm going to go and I'm going to get my uh, map gas bottle and I'm going to set that up okay well I'm going to have to pull out the big guns now so uh, I'm going to go for the map gas which uh, is obviously going to burn a lot hotter than than uh, butane gas so yeah this butane gas you know um, unless I don't know if it's a if it's just not a good brand or whatever uh, of gas you know it might be a poor quality butane but um, yeah it's just not getting hot enough oh, another thing with the with uh, propane or any gas is because it's uh, today's uh, a bit of a cool breeze apparently the colder the weather the the different it works but we'll just turn this bugger off and get rid of it you know I reckon I gave it 15 uh, it's almost 20 minutes and it just wouldn't bring it, it it glows red but it just wouldn't get it to the actual melting point so so we'll go for the uh, map gas now okay just have to get it on a bit more of an angle just so I can start doing this a bit quicker because uh, torch really needs to cool, uh, heat up a little bit before um, I can tilt it much because it just starts splattering when I'm going out like that so it just needs to heat up a little bit About two minutes in, uh, looks like it's getting there. A few more minutes, hopefully, and uh, hopefully it should melt. Still having a little bit of problems with the gun going out, splattering a little bit. But we'll see how we go. Certainly uh, a lot hotter than. The propane gas alone just seems to be just yeah working a little bit better I should have probably just started with the map gas right at the start slightly getting there but it's still taking its time it just won't melt to that that point where it just starts to melt you know it's it's so close, but it just won't get there. Here it looks like it's getting very close. I think I might have put too much borax in it because it, it formed like a glassy top and it didn't really penetrate into the actual foils or maybe I just had too many foils or um, it's just not hot enough underneath I'm not really sure but uh, I sort of turned the, um, the mixture around a bit and there was still a whole heap of foils underneath so I'm not sure this is going to actually work I've done something wrong oh well I'll give it a, a few more minutes and see what, what comes yeah it just doesn't look like it's doing anything really 
Um, maybe I put too much borax, maybe it's just not hot enough. I mean, the gold bits seem to be melting down, but uh, it's just like, you know, maybe it's just cooling down too much because it's just um, turning into crumble. It's not really melting into like metal. Um, yeah, as I said, maybe it's just that too much borax. Uh, I don't know. But I'm going to have to um, probably leave it here and uh, um, get onto the forum, ask you know a few people maybe you know if they know what's going on. But like I said, it's probably too much borax. Just not. Um, I thought it was melting there, but uh, that was just a top cover. It was just like a sealed part, and then when I flipped it all over, it was all just still, fingers were still there, and after a long time of melting. Okay, well, it uh, didn't really turn out as good as I expected or hoped. Um, it, uh, I, I just don't think I got it hot enough, um, so I'm not sure... Uh, yeah, if it's going to be as easy as I thought. This uh, butane gas cartridge, um, this definitely didn't get it hot enough. It just wouldn't get, uh, yeah, just couldn't get it to melting point at all. Um, using the uh, map gas, um, it certainly got it a bit hotter, uh, but it just didn't, again, it just didn't get it to that level that uh, needed to uh, melt the gold. Um, or, or melt it all properly into uh, into metal. So um, this alone, I don't think I just couldn't get it hot enough. Maybe it was the because of the temperature outside was cold. Um, maybe because the uh, crucible here was too big or wasn't heated up enough. Um, just not sure. Just couldn't get it hot enough to. Um, to actually bring it right down to melting it almost it seemed to burn it rather than melt it uh, if that sort of makes sense so the only um, option I think is not to bother with even just the plain map gas on its own um, but rather use the one where there's you got map gas and you got the blue oxygen bottle on the um, on the side so a mixture of map and oxygen that way the oxygen will help you know force that flame out more and uh, just get it to a, a, a lot hotter um, as you see a lot of other youtube videos did they seem to be melting copper and gold very easily uh, but they're using the oxy oxygen with uh, map or or um propane or something like that so uh, just the map on its own doesn't work the uh, butane definitely doesn't work um, so I've kind of uh, messed this uh, little challenge up uh, in there is uh, the is it's just basically crumble and there's still foils but the foils are not copper or or gold that seems to be all removed it just seems to be um, a silvery foil so I'm, I'm guessing it's the nickel and so the nickel having a much higher melting point than copper or gold didn't even come close to melting and so after all that burning and I did spend quite some time on it as you can see it's just uh, it's still just it's just crumble uh, I think I might have added too much borax at the start and uh, it created a, a little like a seal on the top um, so the black bits I'm, I'm assuming is just borax and uh, no doubt with uh, copper in it and gold but the rest of it is just it's like little crumbles and if you can see the the foils are still there, but they're a silvery colour foil rather than a, a, um, gold or copper. So the copper and gold has all been removed off the foils, but and what's left is nickel, and quite a lot of it. And so because nickel, there might be just too much nickel in a, in a lot of these foils. So definitely, it's uh, the only way to use to... Uh, 
to melt down these foils, you know, um, is, yeah, like I said, to use the oxygen as well as MAP. And, um, but most likely it's probably even best to just, yeah, gonna have to use some sort of chemical to remove the copper and, uh, and the nickel off the, off the gold foils because, uh, you know, I mean, I, I tried to, to do it in a way so we could, uh, it would be a lot easier for everyone without using chemicals and stuff, but it just looks like it's it's not going to be possible um, in any standard backyard system unless you've got a a, uh, a really good furnace and you can melt it all down into get in you know, extreme heat. But even then, uh, just looking at the crumble, it's mostly copper colour, um, so there's a lot of copper in there. So. The percentage of gold would have been really low anyway. Um, so, um, yeah. Oh, well, I tried anyway. Uh, it was, you know, I tried my best, uh, you know, but uh, yeah, this project obviously didn't work out like uh, I was hoping it would. Well, that's how we learn, I suppose. We, we trial and error, we make mistakes and um, we continue on, but uh, but I'm going to keep all this crumble obviously and I'm going to try and melt it again when I get a proper furnace because I've got other metal projects that I want to do so um, I'm certainly not going to throw this out but uh, and I'll definitely give it another go but uh, right now for what I've got is uh, the map gas well the butane gas uh, leave that for barbecues but the map gas is is you know really hot but just just not hot enough to get it to uh, a melting point so uh, yeah um, that's all I can say about it um, oh well I guess um, as far as that competition goes um, that's not going to be um, well someone's still going to win the RAM uh, the sim cards so um, just stay tuned and I'll do a uh, I'll have a special draw for the sim cards and some will still win and i might even give some some extra sim cards out too maybe uh, have three winners all right so uh sorry about that guys i tried my best but um i just couldn't get it hot enough and uh lack of uh, experience you know maybe i should just stick to scrapping and leave refining to the to uh the more experienced anyway guys keep scrapping have fun and uh i'll catch you next time